Today, I'm going to show you how to pull information from a big list using a pivot table and the get pivot data function. So I've created a sheet that is going to have a drop down list where I'm going to select a region, then I'm going to select a product, and then I want the sales for that region and product to appear. The information comes from this list of all of our sales for the past month or two. And I've already created a pivot table that basically has the row labels, which is the region, and column labels, which has my different products. So I'm going to combine all this information to make it easy to look up my sales. The first thing I'm going to do is switch back to my dashboard. And I want to create a drop down list that will allow me to create the region so I can select a region. Then I'm going to create a drop down list that allows me to select the product. So to do this, I'm going to first create a pivot table that pulls all the regions from my list. Then I'm going to do the same for the product. So I'm going to switch to sheet one, which has all of my data. Then under the insert tab, I'm going to choose pivot table. But I'm going to tell it to go to an existing sheet. And the sheet that I pick is going to be the sheet four that already has the pivot table. So under existing sheet, I'm going to click in location, select sheet four, which is the pivot table. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on cell A18. I'm just going to create a pivot table below the one that's already there. So when I click on OK, basically it's going to let me create a pivot table. And so the first thing I need is a drop down list for the region. So all I'm going to do is go to my pivot table fields, select region, and that's going to give me my list. Now what I'm going to do is go back to the dashboard and under region, I want this to be a drop down list that gives me a choice of regions to pick from. So under the data tab, I'm going to use data validation tools. So I just clicked on data. And I'm going to go over to my data tools. And what I'm going to pick is the data validation. And that's going to allow me to be specific about what people can do with the cell I clicked on, which is cell B2. So under the validation criteria, I'm going to change that to a list. And then when it says source, I'm going to switch to that sheet four and highlight the fields that appear in that pivot table I created to just show the region. Now when I click OK, it takes me back to that cell B2, and now it's a list. And when I click on it, it gives me the different regions to choose that I created by making a pivot table. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for product. So if I go back to sheet one, which has my data, insert a pivot table, tell it to go to an existing worksheet. And then for the location, I'll go back to sheet four, and I'm going to just select C18 and just put it kind of to the right of the other one. Click OK. And now for my pivot table, this is going to be the product. So I'm going to click on product. There's my list. I'm going to go back to the dashboard. From the product, I'll choose the data tab again. Go back to my data validation. I'll do a list again. And for my source, go back to sheet four. And this time I'm going to highlight the products. Now when I click OK, I have a drop down list for region and a drop down list for product. Now all that I need to do is set it up so that when I pick a specific region, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the east, and I select a specific product, and I'm going to choose 15 gallons of vanilla, it's going to find the sales. So what I need to do first though is look at my sheet four, which is the pivot table of information, and I picked east, and I picked 15 gallons of vanilla. So I know the information is going to come from this cell right here, which is the $300. If I go back to the dashboard, I'm going to start a function or a calculation. So if I type in an equals, so I'm looking for east and 15 gallons of vanilla, go back to sheet four, pick the east 15 gallon of vanilla cell, it automatically creates the get pivot function in the formula bar. I didn't have to do anything. So now when I press enter, it's going to show the $300. And it got it because it picked the east region and the 15 gallon vanilla product. Now I want to make it so that anybody can select from either of these drop downs and get the correct thing. So I need to edit 
my get pivot data function, when I select something in cell B2, it automatically updates to find the region in the pivot table. And when I change cell B3 to be a different product, it does the same. So in my formula bar, I have the information for the get pivot data function. So basically the first thing that it's doing is it's looking for a region and it's looking specifically for the east region. Well, I want that to change depending on what cell B2 says. So I'm going to highlight east and make sure I get the quotations also so that it changes to a cell versus looking for text. And I'm going to click on cell B2. Next, I'm going to go to where it shows for the product, the 15 gallon of vanilla. I'm going to highlight that in the function and I'm going to change that to cell B3. Now I'm going to press enter. It still shows 300 in cell B4, which is the get pivot data function. But now if I go to B2, change that to central, it, it changed to $400, which is for the central region, what their sales were for the 15 gallon vanilla. I'm going to change it from 15 gallon vanilla to five gallons of cookie dough. And now that matches my sales. So the get pivot data is an awesome function and it's very easy to use and it makes life just simpler. This is Gina with this month's tip.